Hello and welcome to Lahore Graphics Academy. I am Furkan and in today's video we are going to learn how to upload your Expo React Native app on Google Play Store. In previous videos we created an AAB file and we will be using that same file to upload on Google Play Store. If you haven't checked the previous videos, the link is in the description. This entire video series of 5 or 6 lessons is a must watch if you are new to testing, debugging or uploading React Native apps. There are two major steps in uploading your app to Play Store. Number one is to create a Google Play account and number two is uploading the Expo React Native app to Play Store. So let's start. Now first of all go to Google Play Console. You can type in the address. The URL that you have to see is play.google.com. Once the Google Play homepage opens up, click on go to Play Console. You need to have a Gmail account in order to sign up. If you don't have a Gmail account, create one. If you have a Gmail account, you can use it over here. So type in your Gmail account and click next. Then you will be asked whether you want to create an account for yourself or for an organization. Now this might be different for different users, but in my case, I'm going to select yourself because I'm going to create a developer account for myself. So let's click on get started. Then they will ask you to enter your personal information like contact name, developer name, email address, contact address and uh, contact phone number. Make sure that you have a valid phone number because you will be asked to verify your phone number. Then you will be asked to enter a website. Now don't worry if you don't have a website. You can enter any of your social platform link over here like LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook or any other social platform on which you are active or simply you can click on I don't have a website checkbox then you need to read and agree the Google Play developer distribution agreement once you've done that click on these two checkboxes and press create account and pay and yes you need to pay $25 in order to create an account on Google Play console good things don't come free so Make sure you enter a valid credit card or a debit card over here. I'm going to enter mine behind the scenes and will come back once I've entered my details. Once I've done that, you can see that the developer account has been created. Now we are going to create our very first app. So let's click on create app button. We will be asked to enter some details regarding our app. So let's start. First, we need to type in the app name that is going to appear on the Google Play that customers or users will be searching for. Then you need to enter the default language. Then you need to select whether it's app or a game and whether the app is paid or free. Once you've checked this, you will be asked for the declaration, the developer program policies. Make sure you read it and check the boxes of developer program policies and US export laws then click on create app and your app will be ready so once you've created your app you can go to its dashboard and you will see some of the options like start testing now set up your app release your app so what we are going to do is the number one task is to set up your app and under setup your app option you can see view task drop down click on that and you will see uh, about 12 options that you need to do in order for your app to be released so we are going to go step by step through all these uh, tasks first of all let's set our privacy policy now every company has a privacy policy but if you don't have yours you can just upload an image on Facebook and upload that link over here so basically what Google wants is that any customer who is in Play Store who's visiting Play Store they can view your privacy policy so you need to upload it in in the form of Google link or oh, sorry Google Drive link uh, in the form of any blog and if in the form of any anywhere where you can upload your privacy policy go for it create that link and paste it over here and then click save 
click on the dashboard to go back to the task and you can see that set privacy policy has been crossed out because we've completed it so step 1 out of 12 is completed let's move on to the next task and that is app access now this option means that whether you have a login account or not if some pages or some um, components if some of the ui is blocked due to some login restrictions two-step verifications you need to mention it over here so in my app there is no restriction at all anyone can use it and all the pages are accessible so i'm going to go with the first option over here even if one of your page or screen is hidden due to some login procedure you need to uh, fill out the second option not the first one the second option if you have no screens whatsoever hidden by login or verification or subscriptions just go with the first option and then click on save and click on dashboard to view other tasks the third task is ads and no my app does not contain any kind of ads but if yours does any kind of sponsored ads or any third party apps then you must say yes my app contain ads the next task is content rating in this you will be asked some of the questions you need to answer them they're really easy so let's go one by one through them first of all you need to enter your email address then you need to select your category uh, mine is neither a game nor a social or communication app so i'm going to check all other types and click next does your app contain any ratings relevant content um, no mine does not contain any such content so i'm going to click no and the second option means is my app a content sharing app like facebook instagram and no it is not uh, basically my app is a feedback app we take feedback from users so that's the nature of the app and does your app contains any online content for example if you're promoting a netflix or a net netflix app uh, movies in the netflix app or we are promoting or sharing some sort of amazon's product listings then we need to mention yes we do have such sort of um, business model but in my case it's not so i'm going to go with no then you need to answer whether your app contains such age restricted products like cigarettes alcohol firearms and in my case it's not so i'm going to go with no does it have a location feature mine does not have it so i'm going going to select no my app does not allow purchasing digital goods so i'm going to select no my app is not a web browser again i'm going to select no and lastly my app is not an educational or a news product so again i'm going to select no click on save and then click on next you will be shown a summary page once you agree with it click on save and go back to the dashboard the next part is target audience and content my app is for 18 and over so i'm going to select that option my app is not designed for children so i'm going to select no read the summary and click save then the next task is news app and once again no my app is not a news app so i'm going to go with the no option click on dashboard to view other tasks is my app a covid19 tracing contact tracing and status app um, no it is not so i'm going to select that option which is the last one and select save the next task is data safety click on next to start the questionnaire here you need to inform google that whether you are collecting user data or not in my case i am collecting user i am collecting name as well as phone number so i am going to go with yes but you can click on this link view required data types and go through it it's a very detailed document go through it read it and see which data are you collecting and that will be easy for you to answer this question so i will select yes i am collecting data and yes my the data that i'm collecting 
is encrypted in transit because I am sa saving it in some sort of encryption. And here I'm going to select my app does not allow users to create an account. And in the last option, no, um, we don't allow them to manually delete it, but it will be deleted in 90 days. So I'm going to go with the last option, even though it's not implemented yet, but um, it can be implemented if it's required. Then I'm going to click on next. Here I will uh, mention what exactly am I collecting through my app and that is name as well as phone number. So I'm going to check those. Leave other empty if it doesn't involve anything else. So I'm going to probably leave everything else empty because I'm not collecting any, any other data from the users. Then click on next. And for each data type, you need to provide some extra information. So click on the arrow in front of each data type. So the first thing uh, is that the data is collected. I'm not sharing this data with anyone. So I'm going to check the first option because it is being collected and not being shared. And the next option is asking you whether you continue to save the data of the user or you save it as long as it's needed and then it's removed. So yes, I'm going to go with the option yes and I'm not going to pronounce it. It's very hard to pronounce. And the next option is that data collection is important. So I'm going to go with the first one that it is required. And then it is asking why this data is important to you. And in my case, it is because the app functionality is based on it. Then I have to do the same thing with the second data type and that is a phone number. So I'm going to do it quickly because it's probably the same steps as before. and click on save and here we go click on next and here is what we've just entered let's go back to the task the remaining task is my app a government app and no it is not so save that Does my app has any financial features? No, it does not. So I'm not going to check anything. My app doesn't provide any features like that and click on save. Now we need to go to store settings. This is the 11th step. Go to store settings, enter the tags, select your app category. Is it app or a game? So all the basic stuff goes here. Enter as per the requirement of your app. Then come the last step and that is set up your store listing. Enter the app name that you wish it should appear on Google Play. Then enter a short description and full description. Then you need to upload uh, the icon, the icon that you are going to be seeing in the app once it is installed enter the feature graphic you can enter a video link then you need to provide the uh, ui screenshots of your app the screens basically so i'm going to upload four of mine make sure that you match the resolution and size that is mentioned below each boxes um, it's pretty straightforward you can read it and ask your designer or if you are a designer yourself just go with the instructions, the height and width and the size, and you'll be good to go. And select save.
once it is done your app is almost uploaded now few tweaks are needed in order to release your app to play store but the thing is all the 12 steps 12 tasks have been done now we need to click on create and publish a release and select the countries and region click on add countries i'm going to select all the countries and select save then click on create new release at the top select choose signing key and click on use google generated key once it is done you can now upload the aap file that we created in the last tutorial once the app is uploaded type in the release name and release notes this isn't shown on the google play um, the release name it's just for your own versioning so that it's easy for you to maintain updates the aab file has been uploaded click on next It shows one warning against the ad declaration so we're going to remove that now and no it doesn't involve any advertising id i'm going to select no and press save the warning has been removed now we're going to preview and confirm our release and select next and select save go to publishing overview and here you can see that your app is now under review your google will review your app uh, and it will take probably three to five or even seven in some cases business days and then you will be able to see your app on the play store if it doesn't have any error or um, issues or faults or warnings so once your app is released, you will be able to see on the Play Store, number one. Number two is that it will take five days on average, so you need to wait for it. Come back to it every day and see if your app is live or not. And that's it. That's basically how you upload your file to Play Store. And if it helped, do give me a subscribe. Do like it as a lot of effort was put into this video specific videos so thank you and see you in the next one